Bye. Today we're going to do a video about how we're going to reorganize the bins or the, what we call the basement uh, storage that we have in the RV. We've been on the road for about a year now and we thought well it's a really good time to uh, take a look at what we're still carrying around, what do we need, what don't we need, and reorganize it a little bit. Yeah we've been through all the seasons, well as much the seasons that we like to have and the uh, we noticed that some of the stuff we use some we don't. and. We're going to be leaving our home base here, so now's a good time to do it. So we're going to answer the question, what's in our basement? And <laughs> how, do we, how do we organize it is basically what we're talking about. So Great. enjoy the video. This is the compartments. They're all opened up. We've got a table set up. You can see they're kind of trashed right now. That's why we're doing this. But most of them, they all have labels. The labels all aren't uh, facing the right ways or whatever. That's the Aqua Hot that we just got done servicing. Uh, there'll be a video for that at some point. And all the way to the back. And we got this table set up to put all this stuff on and get it going. Yeah, we need to uh, update our list that we keep of where everything is and, and also decide what do we need to get rid of. We saw this stuff out of our last compartment, our first one today that we're going to take care of. This compartment right here, which is pretty much empty. There's a few things at the top. We know what they are. There's a table and a couple of chairs. But what we do, do basically, we take everything out of the compartment and we go, are we using it or not? And this thing, as an example, this is a pipe that we made for uh, ventilating fires. We don't have that many fires and we got a bellows. So this is redundant and stupid, so we're not carrying it. These were some legs for the table. We have adjustable legs, so these legs are redundant. We're not carrying them. Beth and I, we both talked about it, right Beth? Yep, this is all stuff that we already agreed on. <laughs> so and We got a table here, this is for the grill. We're keeping the grill back there. These are going to go up in the front where the kitchen stuff is. It kind of makes more sense. There'll be a box for them to go in. Um, yeah. And then we have our grill, the gas grill. And all of this is in the back compartment. So that's kind of where it's all going to go. Oh, this is the thing we haven't looked at yet. You ready? Yep. Frisbee golf. Keep it? No. I have a kite. Kite we keep. Okay. This is a bin called fun, which really doesn't have much fun in it. We must know. not be very fun people. No. It's a very small <laughs> We bin. have an empty bin named fun. So that's it. Basically, then we're going to stuff all this stuff back in. Uh-huh. And we'll give you a picture of that. Okay. So, Mark, what are you doing? Cleaning this out because they get kind of dusty. Even though there's a rubber gasket all the way around, it seems like they always get a little bit of dirt from the road. Um, so yeah, just give it a little clean out. Oops, where did it go? Nobody knows. <laughs> if I had a rug, I'd put it under the rug. So, all right, let's put all that stuff back in that we're keeping. Okay. So what did we decide to keep? All right, this is all the stuff we're keeping. And Beth, you updated the list? Yes. So let's see the list. Now the compartments are numbered all the way around. And then we have this list, which is handwritten right now, but you can see it's printed. The shelf above is the ladder, which right now is out. Camp stools, roll-up table, you can see what's here. And our modifications, and then we'll take this sheet. It's a document saved in our Google Drive, and then we can update it. And then once we're all done organizing, we'll reprint this sheet. So on our next trip out, we'll have a nice fresh one to use. This stuff gets loose because it doesn't go back into a compartment sometimes. Usually if it's raining or 
or we're packing up quick. We're packing up quick or something, and then it just doesn't seem like it gets back. Or if you're constantly moving from one place to the next place, one day stops, it gets. Yeah. What's in uh, two? So two is pretty pretty basic. It's just our firewood, our stuff that we use when we're building fires. So there's a whole bin labeled fire that has fire sticks, charcoal starter, that kind of stuff. And then uh, that's about it, and actual firewood. So this is the hardest cabinet to keep organized and figure out what to do with. It's the biggest one. And it's mostly stuff we don't need usually. So we'll go through that and see what we can do. Okay, so what we did is we emptied this whole compartment out. There was a lot of uh, clothes storage that we've, uh, we're gonna go through in the house. Plus we got rid of the uh, cooler and a few other things that we don't think we'll need. Dilemmas of organizing. <laughs> Here. <laughs> these are basically all pantry. And while we're talking about it, these containers are the containers that we like to use. They have a seal around them. They have, and they have good... And they have good latches. Latches. This is a Sterlite, but the majority of these, I think, are Ziploc. But they have this. Yeah, that's, that's important. Because the, the underneath get very dusty and dirty as we're going down the road. It's because the gaskets on the sides aren't, they're not made to be watertight on this coach. I don't know if any of them are. No, I don't think so. But uh, these keep what's in the containers clean. Mostly. And uh, yeah. So these are our pantry bins. Is that what we're calling these? I guess. Um, and how are you organizing them, Mark? The way I was looking at it was canned goods, dry goods, and like baking. Mm -hmm. We have foodstuffs in the RV. That's where we keep the majority of it. But this is backup. This is like the extra stuff. And, and we uh, don't bake every day. We so. don't bake every day. So it doesn't need to be in the camper. Right. The canned goods are okay. They were two for a dollar. We got two. We only have room inside for one. We had a pantry in our kitchen mm -hmm. at the house. Yeah. Out of the house, we continued having a pantry, but it, now they're in plastic bins underneath the camp. Yeah, this is the whole thing, too. And that's got to go in there and in there. So that's all this goes under there, and it fits pretty good. We're just making sure that we're not duplicating or just trying to make more sense for the list. Like getting all the long, tubey things in one bin. <laughs> Right, so you know where to look for long tubey things. Right. So that's what's happening now. Okay, and Continuation from yesterday. Yep. And then. Well, I have to write down what each bin is now that we rearranged everything. Mm -hmm. I have to say this is canned goods, this is dry goods, this is stuff that we use every once in a while. Okay, let's get let's get that done. Okay. We uh, finished up our bins here. This is bin number five. This is bin number six. We basically just rearranged. A few things got just thrown in when we were putting stuff away instead of putting them where they belonged kind of thing. And then you can't find them again. So this was really good. And we got rid of uh, some stuff that we really don't need. And we found a twin mattress, blow up mattress for guests that we didn't even know we had in here. But what are the rules for RV living? I don't know what are the rules for RV living. Drinks for six. Oh, drinks for six. Dinner for, dinner four. for four. Sleeping for two. That's right. Unless it's our granddaughter who wants to stay with us, in which case we've got a blow up mattress. Right. Because <laughs> there's always exceptions for granddaughters. Yes, there is. And for puppies. Yeah, that's our Madison. She's helping. All right, this side of the camper is pretty much the same as the other side. There's different compartments. I went through all of them yesterday. Um, these aren't labeled like the other ones because there's only really two compartments on this side you have to worry about for storage. This one's just got all the parts and the tools in it. This one's all the plumbing for the black tank and the gray tank. This one's got the 
generator. So, you know, it's mostly mechanicals on this side. This one's storage, but this has all the um, exterior stuff and uh, like for washing the camper and all our, our chemicals, uh, lubricants and waxes, polishes, stuff like that. Um, battery, big batteries for the whole camper. So we go boondocking. And this has got the electrical stuff for the for the camper, the, the converter box or the inverter and the transfer switch and all the wiring and we keep the air compressor in here and a couple odds and ends gloves for fueling um, and that's it so this side isn't as complicated there aren't as many bits and bobs as there are on the other side so this side's done basically i did it yesterday in a couple minutes while beth was watching tv <laughs> <laughs> it never happened. There you go. <laughs> We're gonna do a video about how we organize our storage. You wanna say? And I'm, I'm gonna do bird noises. <laughs> okay, that's. Who is that, Mark? It's Jar Jar Binks. And who's Jar Jar Binks? Jar Jar Binks is our resident bird. He lives on a chimney up here. And he wanted to be in the video, so he's very good. He's very good. So that's our video on how to organize your basement. Ours doesn't flood. It does get dirty. Uh, it travels with us. And as always, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And we're up and down the road. Yeah. Anything else? No, just looking forward to get back on the road. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. All right.